Diamonds are everyone's best friend. But in dark times like this, many jewelers seem to have lost their sparkle. In today's Point Blank, we'll look at how homegrown brand Lee Hua Jewelry manages to stay ahead of the competition even during the downturn. How is business so far for Li Hua? Um, despite the economic uh, downturn right now, I would say that Li Hua's business is relatively healthy. I mean, uh, we are doing much better than we thought, you know, at the beginning of the year. Uh, of course, we are all affected, uh, but we are managing it pretty well. Even so, Li Hua is not taking any chances. In fact, they are introducing new products and coming up with promotions to entice customers. We keep uh, introducing new designs. Uh, we have recently just participated in a fashion festival where we unveiled some new exciting designs. So that itself has drawn quite a few customers into our stores, inquiries and all that. And uh, we, we also do collaborations with designers like Ashley Shum, which we will launch later this year. But prior to that, we also have um, designers like Toshi Kikita, which is a, a very renowned Japanese designer that uh, designed the Sharp Acres television. Yeah. And uh, after him, we collaborated with Dick Lee uh, for two collections, which were very successful. And uh, I think it's about bringing new things into the marketplace, yes. Li Hua Jewelry also teamed up with dining chain Baker's Inn to open a new concept store at Wisma Atria. This allows customers to browse jewelry and enjoy light snacks and drinks at the same time. Ms. Deng says businesses can actually benefit from the recession. I think this is a time whereby um, you should be preparing yourself for an upturn because when it comes, it will come very quickly. And um, just like Li Hua, I mean, I, I speak for my brand, uh, we take this opportunity to position ourselves, to strengthen our foothold in, in this marketplace, to ensure that we remain ahead, and uh, so that when the economic downturn, you know, goes away, and the boom time comes, we'll be the first to enjoy the benefit. Yeah. So for other, perhaps, entrepreneurs and local brands out there, do you have any tips on how they can better manage or cope Actually, with the recession? Actually, I'm not really in a position mm. to, to, to give them advice, but all I have to say is uh, adaptation, being flexible. I think uh, what one a business needs to do is um, to, at, at all times, um, look at the environment, how it has changed, and because environment will affect how a customer's uh, I mean, a, a customer's needs and wants, you know, at that period of time. So, during the good times, they may want certain things. During the downturn, they may want something else. So, be a little bit flexible, adapt to it. But you have to keep to your long-term strategy of, you know, what you want to be. But in the short term, because of all these distractions that you have, uh, the downturn, that's the time whereby you may have to do uh, adaptation so that, you know, you still have a business. Li Hua Jewelry says their focus now is to provide consumers with value-added incentives. During periods like this, we will have to sacrifice a little bit of margin because uh, people are basically looking for better value, even better value. So margins will definitely uh, be slightly uh, squeezed. And um, we also create uh, pieces that at the right price point for them. Uh, for instance, of course, during good times, you may be creating pieces in the tens of thousands, you know. But during this time, you create pieces that are slightly lower, 20-30% lower, and these are still at a level that uh, customers are very comfortable to, to buy them. Yeah. Apart from keep, keeping um, introducing new designs, new innovation into the industry, we also ensure that our customer service, uh, for instance, uh, remains first class, so that uh, when people come to our stores, they feel very comfortable, they see nice designs and I think the most important, uh, whether or not during economic uh, downturn or boom time, is about value, you know, providing value to the customers. And at the end of the day, value it means customers are getting more than that what they pay. 
So that doesn't necessarily just uh, the tangible benefits, but also the intangibles that come with the customer service and all that. Despite the looming crisis, the company hopes to keep the business growing. We will be opening uh, in a regional market pretty soon. Uh, I'm not in a position to divulge the city yet. Um, it's about timing right now because um, Singapore is relatively okay, I would say, because we are a much more mature uh, city. But uh, when you go abroad, uh, there's a lot of things that you have to look for. And the current economic crisis, I would say, delay that effort. But we are definitely going outside of Singapore. Well, consumer spending seems to be holding up for now, aided by falling prices. And there you have it. No matter how bad the economy gets, there are always opportunities for businesses to thrive.